Hello there. I'm about to show you how to do this makeup. I'm cutting this clip out from the end of the video and putting it at the start so that I can remind you that I have a Patreon because you're supposed to remind people at the start of a video and I never do. We've been over this. Don't worry about it. Is there something you want to say? Yeah, okay. I'll see you. I love you too. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. It's probably that for the start of a makeup video, this is already quite a lot of makeup. I'm obviously already wearing makeup. You're right, I am already wearing makeup. Because I just filmed, well, not just filmed, but I just did my alt modeling contest makeup look. I will link to that here. I did that this morning. This is now the evening of the same day. I entered the contest this afternoon. That's all done and dusted. And I'm going out tonight. So I'm doing two videos in one day. I'm also doing two makeup looks in one day. God, that one curl is like right in the middle of my head. Someone commented on another video, I think, my 20s themed video. I think it was Tiny Polka Dot commented that I should do an 80s goth, sort of new romantic style makeup look. And like that comment has hit me like a brick, honestly, because that's the kind of look that I usually wear like on nights out or just whenever I'm not filming myself basically. So I just kind of had that duh moment. So thank you to Tiny Polka Dot. <laughs> thank you for being the brains behind my channel. <laughs> it's so cold today. It's so cold and it's raining. And I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. I've got like all sorts of lights on because it's dark again because it's night time. So what can you do? Eh? If we're going to do something fun, we're going to make it fun. I want to do neon tonight. So I'm going to wear this neon pink. Let's get up close so that you can see my eyes. This pink, yeah. if you've seen this palette before in my videos, it would be because all of my depotted Illamasqua stuff is in this palette, but this pink is actually a DIY effort. I think it was a couple of different stargazer pigments that I pressed myself into this little pot. I did try and make a video of me making my own makeup, but it didn't really work out. And it was like three years ago now, so that footage is probably gone forever. Now, I'm doing this pink all the way out to the side and all the way into the corner because I can. That's literally it. There's no real rhyme or reason or logic to this, I'm just doing neon colours kind of everywhere because I feel like it. Should I do it all the way across? Yes. Yes I should. You know whenever you're doing your makeup you've got to stop and think Is this fun? <laughs> okay. I'm only going to go that far with the pink because I've already got a kind of orangey brown on this side. So, what if I just do orange on this side and have pink and orange? I am actually using a depotted Illamasqua one for this. Although, this is a blush. 
technically, but makeup is makeup, you know. The only thing you really have to be careful of is glitter, because chunky glitter can do some real damage to your eyes. So if it doesn't say it's eye safe glitter, don't put it around your eyes. Next, I'm going to use a bit of purple from this. This one. You can't really see that at all, can you? Okay, okay. Or not. We're going back to the Depotted Alamasca ones. This purple. I tried mixing it up. I tried changing it up a little bit and it just... it's not how it works. And on the orange side, I'm going to put some red. I should probably clarify that I'm not sponsored by Illamasqua or anything. I just use a lot of their products because... they work. Like if they wanted to sponsor me I would say yes, but they don't. So, my hair is all sort of laid out in nice neat little curls which was perfect for the photo shoot. It's exactly what I wanted for the day, daytime, but not what I want for a night out. So I think I'm going to comb them through. I've got a big pink comb. And now I'm going to back comb it into this shape, but bigger, I think. It's been a little while since I last back combed my hair. I used to do this, like, not every day, but every time that I was doing something with my hair, I would like... back comb it and then literally just cover it in glitter hairspray. That was like my go-to look for nights out. I'm using a wooden hairbrush now because I realised that I used to straighten my hair before I backcombed it so that it would look spiky. You know, like if you backcomb curls they kind of, well they curl so you don't get that sort of straight spiked look and I'm not willing to straighten my hair because I haven't used any heat on my hair in so long and I'm just not willing to do that again. So. So, brushing it out. New plan. I am going to pin down this side though, so that it's only big and fluffy on one side. So that you can see my earring better. That makes sense, right? Should I add some eyeliner? I'm gonna use gel. I'm gonna use gel eyeliner because I don't know. I would get a thinner line with liquid. Definitely like liquid liner gives you a much thinner line. But I don't want that. I don't want a thin line, I want really thick kind of scary looking eyeliner. I might only do it on one side as well. We'll see. Because I did the pink all the way out, I wanted to do the eyeliner to kind of match it. Okay, lips. I could just use my eyeliner I'm not going to carry on with that. Does anyone else remember doing that? Like before dark lipstick was like fashionable and you would just use, you would just buy an eyeliner and use it as a lip pencil. When I was younger there were like dark lipsticks and there were like goth fashion shops and stuff but they were expensive or I don't know people's parents wouldn't let them shop there or whatever. So. 
Yeah, people used to use their eyeliner as a lipstick and vice versa because, you know, red eyeliner was a goth thing so you'd have to just buy a red or pink lip pencil and just draw it on around your eyes instead. But right here, right now, is the year 2019, so I'm just using LA Splash. Because every colour of lipstick you could ever want exists, and it exists cheap. time is it? Almost nine o'clock. Good. Oh, right. I have a Patreon. Also don't forget to subscribe and whatnot. My Patreon is currently kind of geared towards my art and stuff because I also make art videos. Big shout out to everyone who actually watches those. I'm probably gonna like start a dis Discord server for patron, patrons, 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 and maybe do some like live streams and stuff. Maybe also some exclusive videos. There's already some exclusive stuff up there, but like I said, it's art based rather than fashion or makeup based. I'm struggling with my button. I'm just like talking to you while I'm trying to get this button together to make it look like I'm not. Uh, why can't I not do this button? Like, comment, subscribe, go to Patreon, pledge one dollar a month so that I can keep buying peanut butter for silver. Thank you. This is silver. Just one dollar a month will get this dog all the peanut butter she needs to hide her medication so that she never ever knows that she's taking pills.